оказалось, что это вот сегодня... But Belikov had history on his side. Gorbachev's reforms meant that the state machine was losing its grip on power. Командно-административная система и те, кто ей поклоняется, не сдает позиции без боя. Я, конечно, понимаю, что здесь повезло мне, что это был 89-й год. Если бы это было, как я понял, 88-й год, история была бы другая. Я уверен в этом. In America, the battle for Tetris was only just beginning. A jubilant Nintendo plunged the knife in. First thing we did was to send a notice to Atari Games advising them that we had the sole home video game rights to Tetris and uh, putting them on notice of that and directing them to cease and desist from any uh, marketing or production of Tetris, uh, knowing full well that uh, they'd go nuts. Atari Games were not about to take this line down. They had already invested millions preparing Tetris for Marcus. One of my associates called to say that we had just been sued by Atari Games. So they took the first step and they sued us uh, and claimed that they had the exclusive rights to Tetris. All of our experts, our legal counsel, were all saying full speed ahead, you know, damn the torpedoes. There's no, there's no inkling that we were wrong. The trial between Nintendo and Atari was set to commence in November 1989. Nintendo had prepared Elog's Nikolai Belokov as their key witness. Перед моим отъездом мне пригласили в Государственный комитет по исследованию техники и информатики. Вот и сказали, если вы проиграете суд, то будет создан специальная комиссия который рассмотрит вопрос один. Сколько миллионов американских долларов потеряло советское государство от ваших непродуманных действий? Belikov joined Hank Rogers in San Francisco, where they waited to testify. Both had a lot resting on the outcome. In the end, they were spared the witness stand. The judge made a summary judgment which granted all video game rights to Nintendo. It made both Mr. Arakawa and I f feel wonderful. Just great. There was jubilation, of course. Well, on my part, I got to keep the rights, <laughs> so you know, I had a lot riding on it. At that point in time, <laughs> Atari Games had uh, several hundred thousand um, Tetris cartridges for play on the NES that were now uh, worthless. We were in absolute shock. We had cartridges ready to ship and firm orders, and we were suddenly enjoined from shipping them. We were absolutely shocked and, and dismayed. Hex called Nikolai. Мы победили. Поедем, я вам покажу Сан-Франциско. Я помню, включил на полную мощность приемник, мы нарушали все. Он носился на этой машине по Сан-Франциско, там горы или такие. Я был, честно говоря, в шоке. Мне было все замедленно. Вот эта радость, она для меня пришла на Магапур. Стал страх, испуг уходить. Я могу возвращаться обратно. То есть я вернулся бы в любом случае, но я могу возвращаться. The real winners were Nintendo. To date, Nintendo dealers across the world have sold 8 million Tetris cartridges on the Nintendo Entertainment System. The people at uh, Marisoft and Atari Games were simply incompetent. They, they didn't do 
uh, their homework. They didn't do what they should have done. And uh, far from taking advantage of them, it was simply competent people taking advantage of some incompetent businessmen.